Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I achieved these brown boho knotless braids with hair that I received from Y Wigs. So thank you so much to Y Wigs for collaborating with me on this video. They sent over three bundles of this brown body wave braiding hair. So I just started off um, parting my hair off camera. This is such a huge hack and time saver. This is the first time that I've ever done this in my process, but it saved me so much time and kept me organized from start to finish. Another must have is this three way mirror and you guys i don't know how i used to braid my hair without this mirror i got it off of amazon it goes right over your door and it is honestly a lifesaver i'm not gonna lie you guys i'm not the best at braiding the back of my head so please don't come for me if my technique looks super wonky and i'm sure you guys are probably like i have no idea what she's doing right now and honestly sometimes i don't either it's just muscle memory like i just feel for it and i just know how to do it but i really can't explain it um i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of every step of the process and how i do braid the back of my head um although it probably just looks a little bit odd um, if you guys are interested in a more comprehensive thorough tutorial on how i feed in hair and how i feed in human hair on boho braids i'll actually have um i have two videos that i can link down in the description box for you guys and i think those will probably be a lot more helpful in following along in my process after I finish the back of my head, I'm going to show you guys a real-time tutorial on how I feed in the human hair to achieve this look. It's a little bit easier for me to explain when I'm braiding the top of my head than the back of my head, so hopefully you guys are able to follow along, and if you have any questions, just write me down in the comment section below. So these aren't perfectly parted right now, but these are going to be three braids. I'm going to use my parting mirror. I think this is pretty straight. Let me go this way figure out how to position myself so you can see okay so i'm gonna just part it in three braid it a couple times i'm gonna take the hair add it to the middle strand and then i'm gonna just wrap it around this comb so that it's out the way and i'm gonna keep braiding and I'm gonna like braid it pretty tight so that it's secure. Then I'm gonna start adding in the braiding hair. It's super tight. I have a full tutorial on how I feed in my hair if you guys are interested in that. Okay, so I wanna add another piece of human hair and I'm kinda adding like thicker pieces to the top specifically because I want the top of my head to be full. I want it to look like more like a sew-in, less like braids. I keep feeding in pieces. And don't worry about these pieces that stick out. You can always cut them later. Or you can add gel, but I'm trying not to add gel, any more gel because it makes the human hair greasy and I'm probably gonna end up washing all of this after I'm done because I feel like I've been using so much gel and now I'm trying to not use as much as I'm getting closer to the top. One, two, three, four, five strands. I've been adding between six to seven on most braids. So I think I might just add like one more. So now jumping ahead to the top of my head, the biggest takeaway is that you should try to get a piece of human hair as close to the root as possible and try to fill the braids with as many pieces of human hair as you can for your desired fullness. So that's essentially what I'm doing and using that same process, that um, I previously explained. You have the other side for reference. One, two, three, four, and then five. adding it 
to the middle strand and then pulling it out the way. Once it's tight, you can pull it a little bit out more. I don't really have a method to how many braids I do in between each piece of human hair. It's kind of random, if I'm honest. So I'm just gonna add in the last piece. Once it's really starting to get thin at the ends, you wanna just fold it in half essentially and just add it to the braid. These don't worry about, you can always cut them. So now that we're about here, I'm gonna take a piece of the braiding hair and it's really helpful that it's a different color slightly than the human hair. So I'm gonna take a little piece and I'm gonna just wrap it around and make a knot. Before the knot is fully pulled, I like to kind of pull it into place and then add the glue essentially like underneath the knot. So like right here and before it dries, pull it. And this just makes the knot so secure. It's like the best way that I've done it so far. Obviously now you have both the braiding hair and the human hair at the end of the braid. So I just cut off the braiding hair. And you know, some people, there are probably other methods, but this is just what I do. And I don't mind the way that it looks. So once you're done, you're left with this. This is kind of like what the knot will look like. You really can't tell that it's been cut, at least not from far away. So that's how I do the ends. So that's pretty much the end of the tutorial, you guys. I love the way it came out. The color is perfect for summer. I love how lightweight it is. I ended up using two out of three bundles and it's really nice and full. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful thank you guys so so much for tuning in and i will catch you guys in my next video bye